Hi, this is Patrick Sweeney from Odin. We're here at the launch of Keystone, the grand opening and the launch of the Epic Mix program. And I've got Robert and Heidi. Robert's the CIO, Heidi's the Chief Marketing Officer. Correct. And uh, tell us a little bit about Epic Mix and uh, what we've got going behind us today. Um, Epic Mix is our new mobile and online application that uh, enables our guests to track their vertical feet, um, see their day skied and where they skied, and then connect that socially if they choose. And so, Rob, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Robert, what's the, the technology behind it? Well, it's a UHF RFID. So a couple of years ago, we decided to embed RFID tags in our passes um, for scanning purposes at the base of the mountains. Um, this year, we decided to take that a step further and put gantries up at all 89 lifts across five mountains to be able to uh, pick people up as they ride those lifts without them having to interact with the reader or a handheld scanner. So with that information, we can determine the vertical feed speed across the day without the guest even having to do anything. And the applications will be interoperable, so we've got the physics part of it, which was a, a big challenge we can talk about in a second. But the application, now we're reading data off of everyone's paths as they go up. Where does that information feed into? So we've got a database that that feeds into. The only information that's stored on the RFID tag is just a compressed number that doesn't even correspond to the pass number directly. Like a license plate on your car. Right, exactly. So there's no personal information that's stored on the pass at all. So as we pick that tag up, we route it um, through our wireless network, which is a secure network, into our database where it's then correlated with customer information and displayed in these consumer applications. And what do the consumer applications look like? Is it something you can just access online? Heidi, yeah, maybe you can talk about that a little bit? Yeah, uh, you can actually access it online, but you can also access it through your mobile device. And, and what do you see when you look at the mobile device? The mobile device is uh, actually very clever. You can see your vertical feed. Uh, you can see where your friends are. You can actually do a mountain broadcast um, and find out what, what kind of friends you've got on the mountain and see where they're at and send them messages. Good friends, bad friends, all those types of friends. <laughs> exactly. it's cute. There's now, also a great interaction with Facebook, so you can connect to Facebook and then socially be able to communicate to all your friends and family, um, you know, the vertical feed that you see, and also these pins that we have for, for doing special things on the mountain. So for today, for example, people who are skiing on open today, please don't get a Pioneer pin. Okay, and so those are virtual pins. I've got my, my Epic Launch uh, actual <laughs> pin, but you can earn virtual pins by doing different things like skiing on the first day of, of opening season. Right. Exactly. That's great. Now, from a, a challenge perspective, you mentioned you did the first foray into RFID uh, two years ago. You won an award at RFID Journal for that. What were some of the challenges that you faced, and then uh, how did we overcome them moving into 2010 season? Right. So it's one thing being able to read an RFID tag with a handheld scanner, right? So that's where a human being is up against another human being, you know, with a scanning gun, looking for the pass and getting a read. But what we wanted to do is be able to kit out all these lifts with um, overhead antennas and readers so that there was no interaction required. That meant that we needed to get near 100% accuracy on these reads. And it's a challenging physics environment, as you can see. There's a lot of metal with the, the lifts and the skis. There's a lot of liquid in, in the form of uh, not just snow, but melted snow and water. So the physics testing was critically important. And then from a, a maintenance and monitoring perspective, you wanted something that was easy to maintain because we've got uh, almost 100 lifts in very remote locations. That's right. So it was important that we know what's going on, right? Because we're tying this into a social program and letting consumers actually see what's happening in near real time, we need to make sure the readers and the antennas are on all the time. Okay. And, and we're using Odin's Easy Edge on the readers and easy monitor to monitor and maintain the system. We can show uh, a little bit more about that. But let's let's find out the proof's in the pudding. We've been live just about an hour now. People started going up the gondola. How many vertical feet are we at already? Do you guys know? We just passed two million vertical feet. Two yeah. million vertical feet in one hour. How is that possible? It seems like such a, a huge number. It's about a thousand people, and I think that this particular gondola um, is registering at about 2,300 to 2,500 vertical feet when we drive. Yeah. Um, so if you do the math, that's where we end up, just that, below a thousand. It does make sense. And so that's great. So in the initial launch of the Epic Mix today here at Keystone, 
within the first hour we've already hit over two million square feet, uh, two million vertical feet. And what that's going to mean is uh, by some point this year, you're going to give away $100,000. Right, we actually uh, have launched a contest that's attached to the vertical feed. You can go to epicmix.com and look at some um, virtual odometers that we have that are tracking the vertical feed. So Heidi, in addition to winning the, the pins and tracking your vertical feet, there's actually a monetary component to what folks can win too, isn't there? Correct, yes, we have launched a contest. Um, it's the Epic Mix Holiday Gift Prize. Um, up to $100,000 can be won by a single individual. Uh, basically what it is, is we are attaching a dollar amount to the vertical feet um, that we accumulate at each of our resorts. So if you go to epicmix.com, there are virtual odometers that you can uh, actually track the vertical feet that ski each day at our resorts. At some point in the uh, early December time frame, we will uh, stop that program, see where we're at, look at the tally, and uh, up to $100,000, somebody, some lucky person who activates their account can win. Wow, that's great. Now, in addition to all this cool technology, uh, Vail has, has really changed the game in skiing, as many folks have seen in, in press like the Wall Street Journal and Fast Company. But in addition to the great experiential uh, component to this and the fact that people can interact with the mountain in ways they never have before, it's a hell of a bargain. So I bought my Epic, my Epic Pass when they went live in uh, September. I bought my Season Pass. Tell us about the deal. So the Epic Pass, actually there's new information on the Epic Pass, it's $629. Uh, it was to ski six absolutely world-class resorts. That's Vail, Breckenridge, Beaver Creek, Keystone, and Arapaho Basin in Colorado, and then Heavenly uh, Ski Resort in Lake Tahoe. New that we just announced last week is uh, we acquired North Star at Tahoe. It's uh, a beautiful world-class resort on the North Shore of Lake Tahoe. So now your Epic Pass for the same price gives you access to both North Shore and another South Shore resort called Sierra at Tahoe. So it's so six, eight great resorts eight for great, only $629. $629, eight great resorts. That works out to be about, uh, well, probably seven days of skiing, and that's all you have to do to break even. On. Absolutely, that's, that's absolutely. A great deal. Well, Heidi and Robert, thank you very much for being with us. We're real excited. Check out epicmix.com to find out more about this terrific program. Chuck in, got my chips can.